We are going live in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome, Yashara. You have to have the mindset. You got to be prepared because it's not going to be easy. on this YouTube page are based on the knowledge, opinions, and experience of Sheila Rociel. Unless otherwise noted, the information on this page does not replace a one-on-one -on -one relationship with a qualified healthcare professional and should not be considered medical advice. Sheila Rociel encourages you to make your own healthcare decisions based on your research and in partnership with a qualified healthcare professional. And most importantly, Make sure to listen to your body. Please note, in regards to fair use, this YouTube channel and its contents are protected under the Copyright Act of 1976. Let's stay connected. Please remember to hit the like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Welcome, 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 family. Sheila Rociel is here. Oh, guys, I am just ecstatic to have you join me today, along with my co-host, Shauna Shay. Shauna, say hello to the family. What's going on, Israel? Good evening, everybody. So lovely to see you all. Thank you for joining. <laughs> you know, family, you know, I, I could not have gotten this channel off the ground, the way I envision it. There's no way I could have gotten it off without the help of this sister. I'm going to tell you. The intro, intro that you guys just saw, and at the end, the outro, all Miss Shauna, all my sister Shauna. <laughs> you, you, you know, we are creative people. We, we really are. We really are. But I am just grateful to, to the Most High for her being by my side. I tell you, she's my Aaron, like Aaron uh, to, it was to Moses. And she's my Elisha, like Elisha, Elijah, Elijah, Elisha. Y'all know who I'm trying to say was to Elijah, you know, because trust me, I am not very technical at all. It takes me a minute to figure things out. But family, thank you all so, so much, much for journey, journey, I mean, I, I am just honored, just honor. Now, now we are getting ready to get right into the meat of the show today. And if the most high say the same, we're not going to be here long. OK, but before we get started, family, you know what I want to do, I want to express just briefly, you know, the mission of this channel. You know, the purpose of this channel is the same as my Facebook group. And some of you guys are in, uh, in the healing of Yashara's temple. So in short, you know, the mission is empowering our people, you know, by providing educational information concerning, and y'all know what I'm going to say, reversing disease in our bodies. You know, the Ruach, the Holy Spirit, you know, dwells in our bodies of the family. You know, you know, our people are just destroyed because of lack of knowledge. And you know what? You know, we are living in prophetic days unless you've been living underneath the rock, you know, but this is a really crucial time, you know, that we're living in and we need to restore our health, you know, you know, in order to fulfill our assignments, we got to do that guys. We got to do that family. So that's the goal. You know, we planned on bringing, you know, tangible and intangible resources to you, you know, as the Ruach leaves, you know, which are all going to be geared, you know, towards reversing, you know, this ease. So anyway, moving along, you know, family, I, I'm going to let you know now I believe in starting anything, you know, off with prayer. Because to me, prayer is the foundation, period. 
to anything to be successful. You know, if, if the most high, high build it, you know, then you're not building in vain. So I pray, I really pray that this channel glorifies the most high and that he is always lifted up in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. And those who are new to the community, I'm speaking of whom you know is Jesus, same person, okay? So in Proverbs, I have a scripture, in Proverbs 4, 7, it says, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing, and with all you're getting, get understanding. Okay, guys, let's pray. Oh, most gracious Abba Father, thank you for the opportunity to, to, be, to come before your throne of grace this evening. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that is new every morning. Thank you for turning your face back towards your people. Thank you for keeping your people as the apple of your eye. Thank you for the opportunity, you know, to relearn knowledge and understand that was lost to us as a people so many years ago, Abba. Forgive us, forgive us of all of our sins, Most High, and the sins of our ancestors and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Give us a, a pure and a clean heart so that we may always see you most high. Always see how you are moving in our lives as a people and in, in individually as well. And Father, as we strive to reverse disease in our bodies, in our temples, I ask you most high to lead each person here today in their healing journey, Father, and pour your wisdom out. Like your scripture said, your, your words that you would pour wisdom out liberally upon us, Father, so that we can apply that wisdom according to, to our circumstances. And we know that circumstances can be changed and they are temporal. We know this. But give us your, 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 your people the strength, Father, and the fortitude to follow your lead in correcting daily dietary habits, Father, because we need your help in this area and according to your will. And we shall always, always, always be mindful to give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the adoration, because truly, you are the most high Elohim. There is none other besides you. It, it, it just isn't. And we just thank you, Father, for hearing us in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. So be it. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, family. Hallelujah. You know, it, it, it took a lot. I'm gonna say this, and we're gonna really get into it. it. It took a it took a lot of praying and confirmation to go forward with this channel. You know, because I, I was pretty contented with Facebook. Sister Shana tell you, you know, because because I was just just content, you know, on my own little platform in the background on my Facebook or whatever. You know, I love I love working behind the scenes. I I, I do. I, I do. I seem like I can get a lot more done. But you know what? The Most High wants more from me, and he wants more from us. He wants his people healed. It, it, it's that time. But, the, but now today we're going to go ahead on, and we're going to uh, have real talk about the topic today. Vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, fruitarian, flexitarian. It's been so much confusion about that. So anyway, Sister Shana, you know how. I, let, me, let me get the slide up. You know me now. So <laughs> you know you taught me. Hey, yes, hey, I got it up. Y'all yeah. give me a uh, give me a hand clap. <laughs> give me a hand clap, y'all. I got it up. I got it up. Okay. Okay. We're gonna start with the first slide. We're gonna start with with uh, with vegan. Okay. Okay. So a vegan diet includes no animal products. Animal products can mean anything from meat, including fish, cheese, eggs, honey, and gelatin. A full ingredient obtained by boiling the water, I mean, boiling the skin, bones, or tendons of, of animals. If a food is made by or out of an animal, it's not, it's not vegan. So anyway, so I recap that because I know you guys probably already know that because it's, it's on the internet. It's just on Google. You can Google that. But the reason why I wanted to start with, with vegan first is that a person who is a true vegan, a really true diehard vegan, you know, not only do not consume, you know, animal products. Or, or, or byproducts from animals, you know, they're concerned about animal protection. That, that's their main thing. You know, they won't even wear clothing that was made, made from animals. You know, they won't even wear uh, makeup or purchase makeup that was made from animals. You know, that's their motivation. That's their motive. That's their stance and um, uh, to protect, you know, the animals. And they call themselves the, the true vegans. And actually, they consider other vegans who really just simply just adopted that lifestyle for health reasons, you know, they consider them uh, second class, second class vegans, because if their, their motivation is something other than animal protection, then that's where the confusion come in. They consider, they, they consider them not a true vegan. That's them. 
have you heard that before, Shauna? That's them. Yeah. That's just how uh -huh. they are. They don't play either. They don't play. They don't play at all. You know, so, but anyway, but for as a health benefit of a vegan's diet, I'm going to tell you, a vegan diet is, in my opinion, that, that's one of the best protocols, the best protocol to reverse disease in the body. So, you know, so let's just break it down a little bit. Let's break it down. You know, a vegan diet, you know, it's going to consist of not only what you see on the screen here, but it's going to consist of fruits, you know, vegetables, grains, you know, nuts and seeds, you know, no animal products like we see on the screen, but, you know, such as cheese and butter and yogurt and, and, and all of that. They do not eat any of, of that. That That is a vegan diet. That's a vegan diet. So you would adopt that diet. That's what you're looking for. Now, as we're talking about vegans, let, let me kind of just uh, pick it back, go, go back a little bit. Now, you guys know, because this question comes up a lot, because I know you probably even be thinking it. You know, you may look on YouTube and what have you, you see uh, uh, a vegan, a person who's a vegan, you know, or, and they look, you know, they don't look, they don't look healthy. You know, they just, they just, they don't, they don't look healthy, you know, at all, you know, but let me tell you, they, they, they feel fine. They just don't look healthy. And the main reasons of that, because that happened with me. That happened with me when I first started on this journey. I started on a vegan diet because I was trying to reverse some stuff that was going on with me, you know, and I'm going to be honest. I was a novice at it. I was a novice at it. I even remember my oldest daughter saying uh, to me, we, we was out in the mall or somewhere. I don't know where we were. And she she told me flat out, she said, mama, you don't, you, you don't need to be losing any more weight, you know, you know. Don't because I, I know I looked and shriveled up and swunk it in and, and all of that. But I was a novice at it. I was new. What I didn't realize is that I really needed the macronutrients. You know, we got to remember those macronutrients. You know, that's that that's the proteins, the fats, and the carbs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when you see a, a new vegan, a new person who adopting a vegan, you see, you say, oh, you, you just shriveling away. Well, they knew at it. They learning their body. They just have to add the proper fats to it. You need healthy fats to get that that nice plump glow. You know that 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 marsh look and, and so forth. That not dry look. You know so. Avocados, nuts, chia seeds, coconut, you know, uh, 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 what, 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 uh, extra virgin olive oil, you know, flax seeds, all those are good, healthy, healthy um, uh, fats to, for a, a, a all vegan person to incorporate in their body. They really have to pay attention to that. You know, even though they're feeling fine, they're feeling fine, they, 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 they feel healthy, they just don't probably look it, but they're feeling fine. I, I, I know about that. I know about that. So that's that's on the vegan. Now let me just click this slide over to vegetarian. Okay, let's talk vegetarian a little bit. Okay, now vegetarian diet, you know, that's 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 pretty much a plant-based diet as well. You know, it, it is very, 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 very similar to a vegan, a vegan diet. It's very similar, but there are some exceptions. Now, uh what one of the biggest exceptions exceptions is that most vegetarians who consider themselves a vegetarian. Most of them are uh, the main, well, I'm not going to say most, the main ones are what they call the lacto-ovo vegetarian. That's L-A-C-T-O hyphen O-V-O. And so, and that diet, you know, it involves, um, well, I didn't even read it here. Let me read the vegetarian. At, at its core, a vegetarian diet omits meat, poultry, poultry, and fish. However, there are several types of vegetarian diets that have additional allowances, which I was talking about now, the lacto-ovo vegetarian diet you know but they, but they that involves with them eliminating all meat they don't eat any meat any poultry any any fish any of that but what they will eat is some eggs and dairy you know such as cheese okay mm -hmm. so so the vegetarian diet is really the most common vegetarian diet it really is so but i, I will i will say this you know a vegetarian diet guys family that protocol i tell you if you are just beginning to start on the road to reversing uh, disease in your body and you feel like that a vegan diet is, is just a little bit too challenging for you to start, adopt a vegetarian diet. That's, that's my suggestion on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's move on to the fruitarian. Okay. The fruitarian diet. The fruitarian or fruit diet is a highly restricted vegan diet. It includes, excludes all animal products, including dairy, including dairy. People following this program eat a diet consisting primarily of raw fruits. Now, a fruitarian diet is related very closely to veganism, a vegan diet. 
you know, but it consumes a consuming fruits. You know, however, you know, nuts and seeds and raw vegetables are, are eaten by a fruitarian, you know, as well. But it's but it's really in moderation. OK, because it's mostly raw. You know, it's raw. It is raw. It's not mostly raw. It's raw. It's raw fruit and raw, and raw vegetables in, in moderation. You know, so that's what a fruitarian is. Now, now I'm going to say this, too. If your body is malnourished, malnourished, you know, I can't kind of pronounce my words right. Malnourished. And now when I say malnourished. Just because, just because, you know, a skinny person is not the only one that's malnourished. You can be fat as Santa Claus and be that malnourished. You know, so, you know, so malnourished means that you are deficient in vitamins, <laughs> minerals, and <laughs> minerals. I know, but I'm just being real. I'm just being real. People say, "Oh, you know, she's so skinny. Oh, he's so skinny. Well, they're so malnourished." And 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 you all plump around there. You are too. You know, you probably uh, uh, malnourished as, as as well because you're not. You don't have vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. You know, in your body. You know, and but what I will say this though, that um, if your body is malnourished and deficient in in, in minerals and and the, and the antioxidants and the vitamins, you guys always hear me talk about a lot. This is a a great a really great short-term protocol to correct some of those, those deficiencies that you have. You know, this is one of the best, the best protocols to detox because I believe in detoxing with food. A fruitarian diet, I mean, I mean, that one, that one. Okay, let's move on to, because um, I want get to get to something that I want to hurt and get through these. Okay, pescatarian. Okay, a pescatarian, or someone who follows a pescatarian way of eating maintain a vegetarian diet with the addition of fish and other seafood such as shrimp, clams, crabs, and lobster. Now we're not gonna get into no 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 no, no talking about oh shrimp clam. Mm -hmm. We ain't going there tonight, okay? We ain't talking about that. I'm just letting you know what a pescatarian is. Now, now what a what is a pescatarian diet? Simply a pescatarian simply eat uh, a vegetarian diet. The only difference is that they consume fish and they don't consume any other animal protein, but they may include some eggs and they may include some, some, some dairy, but that's, that's it. A pescatarian is, is, is a seafood eater. That's, that's, that's what they're eating. They're eating that along with a vegetarian diet. That's all what a pescatarian is. I mean, short and simple. That's it. Okay. Moving on. Flexitarian. Okay. Now, in its simplest definition, the flexitarian diet is a combination of the words flexible and vegetarian. Okay, it's a cross between full vegan and vegetarian with the ability to enjoy animal products every so often. So a flexitarian diet, you know, that is just where a, a, a person's primary diet is vegetarian. That's their primary diet, but occasionally they eat meat or fish. When I say meat, I mean, I'm talking about the beef. The, the, the pork, the, you know, the chicken, you know, all of it. Occasionally they'll eat it. Okay. That's a flexitarian. That's a flexitarian. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, what, what about you? Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But before we do that, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to tell you what I am. How about that? I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to tell you real quickly. Okay. I am a vegan when I am sick, when I am ill, you know, because I actually used the, the vegan diet protocol when I was reversing uh, disease in my body. You know, I'm talking about, I mean, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, diabetes, underactive thyroid issues. I had um, acid reflux, reflux, you know, and actually, I actually go back to a vegan diet where my body goes through a healing crisis. And let me kind of explain what I'm talking about, about that. Because, you know, all of my disease, all of my disease issue was not reversed all at one time, family. It wasn't. You know, the body's going to go through uh, what is called a healing crisis. And when you go through that healing crisis, then some of the old symptoms, you know, that um, that you had on some of your other issues that you had, they may kind of like go in kind of like a remission sort of or what have you, because your body's kind of working on one other thing. OK, but. The body is always, always, always family seeking homeostasis. You know, in other words, it's, it's looking for, you know, harmony, you know, health and balance. That's the body's job. It's always, always seeking that. So I, I said all that to say that 
when my body is going through a healing crisis in another area of this easement, I don't know if this easement is a word or not, but I'm going to use it, of this easement, um, I, use a, I use a vegan diet. Why? It works. It, is, it works for me. It works. It works. Our bodies have have went through so much hell over these past 400 years. And, you know, and it's, and it's, it is always, it's always seeking for homeostasis. It's always seeking for balance. You know, and I'm going to add to that, you know, the most high, he created our bodies in such a magnificent way that when our bodies are healing naturally, it's going to work on what needs to be worked on to get you back to good health. So, yes, sometimes I go back to vegan because it, if the most my body's not through, through, through all the way, all the way, it, it got, still probably got some issues. And when that healing crisis come up and what have you. Because one time when that had happened to me, I thought it wasn't working until I found out, no, you're going to a healing crisis. I said, hi, what the wild is? Why all of a sudden I'm getting sick? Well, no, your body, my, your body is working on another part of your issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what it's doing. That's that's what it, that, that's how beautiful our body is. That's how beautiful the most high high did it. Okay. Now I am a vegetarian. <laughs> 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 now I'm a vegetarian when I have gotten off track, family. You know, that's that's for whatever reason. I'm not gonna go through what the reasons be. You know, they could be it could be any reason that I got off track or I, I or I feel like I'm I'm coming down with a cold or a flu or or something probably though know, that's that excess mucus related, you know. That's when I'm a vegetarian because because I, I know I know at that point, okay, something's going on. I'm 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 feeling I'm not feeling well. I got to get that under control. So I do a vegetarian diet. Now, I am a fruitarian at times. I am a fruitarian about two, maybe three times a year, depending on what my diet was before I switched back to a fruitarian. Now, I use this protocol, uh, the fruitarian pro uh, uh, protocol, mainly to detox. And, you know, and I use this one, too, primarily for my, 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 my new clients when they first come to me. You know, I, 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 I want them on that raw food. I want them on that raw fruit. I want them on, on, on uh, the, the raw vegetables. Because why? Because it has, in my experience, it has accelerated, quick accelerated benefits. And you can, you can, you can experience it quickly, too. You really and truly can. Now, when, when you are consuming uh, green smoothies and fruit smoothies and things of that nature, and, and mostly fruit, really, but the fruit with the, with the leafy green vegetables and so forth, that's fruitarian. That's fruitarian because your body, you you know, you're eating raw. You eat you eat you eating raw, and that's where fruitarian. Are. Fruitarian pretty much eat raw. Now, when you're eating like that, you are just saturating your body with vitamins and minerals. You know, your body just loves it. Now, now I am going to put this. I am going to say this. I'm going to say this little disclaimer here. Now, I don't know everything in the holistic, you know, healing lifestyle. I don't even claim to. However. Now, there are some people who seem to do well, really well on, on this type of uh, 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 protocol long term. And, and some of them forever. That's just that's just how they eat, period. They eat raw all the time. I'm going to say right now, as of today, right now, I'm not one of those believers. Mm. I'm not, I'm not going to say that I won't change my stance down the, ro down the road. But as of today, I believe short term periodically is better to me. I do. That's just my opinion. OK, S some do well on all raw and no cooked food, you know, for, for the rest of their life, you know. But it's, it's, it's not my preference as a permanent diet. It's just not. But let me tell you this. But if it works for you long term and it keeps you out of the doctor's office, then I, by all means, do what's best for you. But I will tell you this, though. It is a truly, truly, truly. I love this healing protocol for the so-called black person, black folks, us. It, 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 it really is when you when you want to um uh reverse some things and what have you instead of going the all the vegan way this is the one i this is the one i like to use I, mm. I, I like to use this one this is the one i like to use now i am a pescatarian sometimes because i like how my body responds to seafood in reference to you know in regards to protein i do i don't consume a lot of plant proteins such as beans and rice and grains and bread and stuff like that because simply because, you know, my body don't like a lot of it. So 
However, in extreme moderation, I do fine, you know, and I do need, need it some. I do need some of it, you know, in my diet. But when I supplement my meals with, with, with seafood, such as salmon, you know, I do well. My body loves it. You know, it keeps me more toned. It keeps my, keeps my muscle tone, you know, because I exercise quite a bit. I, I walk and I jog a lot. And I have to watch out because I, I'm at that age, I lose muscle tone, you know. So eating seafood such as salmon, you know, cod or, what, or whatever, one to, two time, one to two times a week, you know, that's, that's better for me than me consuming a, a substantial amount of, of, of legumes, you know, beans and rice and grains that my, my, my tummy just can't, can't handle it. You know, your gut, take care of that gut. You can always hear me talk about take care of your gut. Take care of your, take care of your gut. But I do, however, I do try my best to, uh, to eat clean seafood. I do. So, you know, you really, what about down to, you really have to understand and learn your body. You really do. Now, I am a flexitarian, mostly, <laughs> okay? If you want to label me, you can label me a flexitarian because I primarily have a vegetarian diet. But as I said before, you know, I eat fish and I occasionally eat chicken. You know, uh, especially chicken, I eat chicken when I'm out in rest a restaurant with my family or my, my, or my family's having, a, 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 having a, a gathering and, uh, and my sister or whatever, you know, may, may, may uh, uh, prepare chicken, you know, uh, things of that nature. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to consume it. But actually, I can tell you right now, probably the last time that I actually cooked chicken for myself, baked, roast, grilled or whatever, probably been about almost a, a year. But when I go out to restaurants, because a lot of times and I go out with my family or just outside the home or whatever, you know, I will consume it. Now, let me tell you about, the, about, about how chicken do me. Now, if that chicken... I, if I buy chicken, I'm going to, I'm going to buy organic. If I can't find organic, then it's, it's going to stay in the store. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to purchase it because when I eat chicken and if it's toxic and not organic, I get nauseous. Mm. I, I get, a, I get a, a headache. You know, I start getting these beads of sweats in my, in my head, you know, like Baca faint and what have you. So mm. that's, you know, I rarely, I rarely consume it, you know, though, Though my body can tolerate it if it's truly organic and it's not so much toxicity it is in it, you know, and it's, and it's on an occasional event, you know, or what have you, you know, I, I eat it. But I don't personally consume beef and pork, you know, but beef and pork and all that, that is in a flexitarian's diet. OK, so now now it, it, it took years. I mean, it took years of me listening to my body. I mean, my body is unique. Your body is unique. You know, you're going to have to learn your body. You, you, you must learn and listen to your body. And it, it, it will tell you what, what it likes and what it, what it don't. We're going to be having a, a, another topic, upcoming topic on, on how to listen to your body when it comes to uh, nutrition and, what, and what, it, what it wants. Okay, family. Now, family, put in the chat, what are you? And Sister Shana, why are they doing that? What are you? <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm so ashamed. I'm ashamed. That's what I am. I'm very ashamed. I just want to make that confession right now. Um, is there a such thing as a confused Italian or a DoorDash Italian? <laughs> Those don't exist, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you, first me, when you first put me on that dolly, I was traumatized, you know. You you the I got traumatized, but I will say that I'm a flexitarian. I don't think that I could truly be vegan or vegetarian. I need some type of meat protein in my life. But I will say that um, it's, it's, it's funny that it seems like the most high pulls you away from things. He's, I can't look at chicken raw mm -hmm. anymore. Now, if it's cooked, like you said, and already prepared, then that's one thing. But the last time I tried to bake chicken, I baked it and because I started out with raw and cooked it, I couldn't eat it. I had to throw it all away. So that's very interesting. So I, if I had to choose, I'm definitely a flexitarian. If I had to take another step, I would be a pescatarian, of course, with just fish. Mm -hmm. so I would say that's what I am. Now, who you need to be talking to is this one right here. Mr. Black Tastic, what was that last thing he said? He said that uh, Sister Sheila's an allitarian. <laughs> <laughs> you can be all of them. 
<laughs> are we all all of them or does it depend on where you are at the time like, it's where you are at the time and that was my point mm -hmm. that was my point when I, I went through that i'm i i can be any of those things all depends on what's going on with my body right it depends on what's going on with my body it that's that's what it is uh, Ali, alicia so she's a flexitarian too that's the most um, response that I've seen. That's the most popular response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because I tell you, you know, you have to start where, you, I mean, take baby steps. You know, j just, just take baby steps. You know, just because you see somebody else jump and, 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 and become a, a vegan and all that, being a vegan is not easy. Yes. It's not easy, but 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 like but like like I said before, uh, yeah. See see, uh, uh, seventy eight vets say I did vegan for six months. It was a struggle. I lost weight because I didn't know what to eat. Exactly. That's usually the problems you know with with vegans and everything. But you know, but you were a novice at it. Most people who are vegans who who become vegans, you know, start off so green, so wet behind the ears. Right. You know, and so you have to you have to learn. You have to learn it. You really have to learn it. But it is one of the best. Um, on reversing this ease, you you go to that you go to that vegan diet, you go to that you go to that you you do that vegan. Oh, what Mary, about this right here? Oh, Devora said, "I am a, I am I'm an eat what I <laughs> eat what I want to carry." <laughs> I know, Devorah. I know. I know. I have to get you up here one day. Me, 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 like I already that. talked about that already. <laughs> oh goodness! Oh, man. But but really and truly, you guys got any any, any question? I'm mixed. I'm mixed vegan and vegetarian. No dairy, but an egg every now and then. It, uh, that's um that's me, Maria. That that's me. That that that's pretty much me. As far as far as they go, I can go. I can tell. See, I want you to be able to listen to your body and know when, when you need to add something. Right. Okay. You know, so your body will talk to you. I was telling uh, 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 Sister Shauna one day we were talking. I know just as well. Um, um, just to get, I could just tip when I when I when I'm craving potato chips and and just chips and stuff like that and what have you. I know. I know now. Now I didn't always know this. I know now. My body needs salt. Well. Just to, what I what I do, I just sprinkle a little salt in my my hand, lick it. That craving leaves. My body needed that. Mm. My body needed that. So one of the topics that we are going to have is talking about about that because I want you to listen to your bodies. Your body is always going to be telling you something. It really is. It's always going to be telling you something. Always. You know. You know, guys. You know, health and, and healing. It, it's our birthright. It, it, it is. It is. And, and the path is going to be different from everybody. That was the purpose why I wanted to show the, the difference. Okay. Um, some people can go vegan. Some people can go just vegetarian. Some, some, is, some is somewhere in between. But the main thing is that um, <laughs> the, main, the main thing is that you get your fruits and your vegetables in. You get those things in. Your meat, if you eat me eating meat, that should be the, the actual side dish and your fruits and your vegetables should be your main dish. Okay. That should be your main dish. The, 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 the meat, you know, if you, if you're going to consume it and try your best not to consume it every day, give your digestive system, your gut a break. Yeah. It, it, you know, especially if you're trying to, to heal, you know, because your body is going to be, all your body is doing is, is is trying to break down that dead food. The food is dead. Meat is dead. Yeah, we like eating it, but it's but it's dead. It, it zaps your energy. You you have none. What about cheese and ice cream? Like this question here. What is so bad? <laughs> okay, you you really want to know the truth, bad casting. <laughs> <laughs> If y'all really were ready to hear this, I didn't think y'all was ready to hear this. <laughs> but if you want to go there, we'll go there. Okay. When you are eating now, ice cream and cheese and, and, and all of that, which comes from, you know, a cow, you're eating, you're eating and consuming mucus. 
Well, pus. That's what's wrong with it, black plastic. So that's why when you when you eating these things, eat it in moderation. Because if you just constantly eating that and what have you, then you just you just you just building yourself up all this inflammation, inflammation, inflammation. And you wonder why you got all this, this mucus and so forth. You got this mucus because you keep putting all this acidic stuff in your body. I know Victoria. Victoria's my daughter. <laughs> oh, okay. where, where does she go? What, Victoria, where did you say this? Oh. Mm -hmm. She said cheese and ice cream is, is, is her weakness. Yeah, yeah, Bless yeah, her. yeah. But she just finished a, a 21 uh, a twenty one day cleanse. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, she just finished that. But yeah, but but that but that's but that's why, you know, uh so I bought a seven eight, I bought a juice of waiting for Amazon to deliver it. Do you juice? Yes, I juice. Now now the biggest thing with me with juicing is stuff, and and I'm gonna be real, real honest with you. I got a um I got a big old juicer. Okay, and I just go ahead and just keep it out on the counter now. But the only thing about the with the juicer, the juicer and things is that I hate cleaning that sucker when I'm through with it. You know, that's the the the, the biggest drawback for me with a ju with a juicer. But I I do juice, but most of my I do. I'm a smoothie girl. You, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some blending. That I'm pulling that that that, that Nutribullet. I'm gonna do that's 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 my tool, my equipment that I cannot live without. I can live without the juicer. I can live without the juicer, but um, not my not my blender. Not my Nutribullet. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, Demetria, bless you. She, she said, "I love love butter pecan ice cream." You know what? You you can love it, but you know what? Don't, but 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 don't just um. Okay, he 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 goes he goes, and this is all from love. <laughs> don't be a glutton. If you want to eat your uh, 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 ice cream cone or, or whatever, and that's your, your day, and you out with family, and you go, I do it with my family. You know, when we go out on our girls thing or what have you, and then we stop into to the uh, ice cream shop or whatever, especially for uh, my, my great nieces and whatever. And uh, do I eat an ice cream uh, 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 ice cream thing or whatever? Uh-huh, I get one. <laughs> I get one. But that's not my lifestyle. You, you, you get it? Yes, this is a journey. This is a this is a this is a journey. This is a journey. But I tell you this: when I was sick, when I was sick, no, I couldn't eat any of that stuff. I, I couldn't enjoy any of it without having been miserable afterwards. Mm. See, That's that something I'm learning too. I um, once uh, I, you pulled me back off the diet. You had me on that strict diet. Mm -hmm. I love Dove's chocolate. I love Dove's milk chocolate and. I went and tried to buy a package and it tastes like wax. I had to throw it away because how how my taste buds perceived it was probably exactly what it was. It was, but, yeah. it was foreign. It was foreign. It was horrible. I didn't mean to cut you off. Keep going. No, I was just saying that when you step away from something for so long and you go back like... Um, Pancake mix, powdered pancake mix. Mm -hmm. My sister made some pancakes. I tried to, it tasted mm -hmm. like cardboard mm -hmm. because I had taken it out of my diet. So when you we try to go back to revisit these things, it does not taste, it's just not the same. Yeah. Is that, is that, yeah. Because one thing about when you do a, a cleanse and you start eating differently and what have you, your taste bud will change. Will change. It will, will change. The thing, the, the issues that we have is that uh, it, it's our mindset because our minds remember something else and we and we thinking that our body is, is crave. Don't think that our body will crave mm -hmm. is uh will crave and that you really have to overcome is sugar. Mm -hmm. A sugar addiction, the sugar addiction is real. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it's, it's real and it's in everything. It's in everything. Alicia asks, is that the same with yogurt and sour cream? It is, but but let me tell you something about yogurt. I, I that's always accept that's why I always there's always gonna be some exceptions. Okay, with yogurt, especially if, it, if it's uh, because yogurt is a, a a good probiotic. Okay, and so especially a, a Greek yogurt, you know, and so your body needs uh, um, probiotics because most of us have hardly any good bacteria in their gut. Mm. So yogurt is good. Now, not sour cream. 
Alicia, put the sour cream up. I mean, use it. I mean, I'm not trying to dictate what you eat, but but to answer the question is, but yeah, if, if sour cream is something that you just like to put on everything, that's going that's 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 a problem. That's going to become a problem. I mean, but if you just put a dab of sour cream on 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 something, and that's not nothing that you have every day, you should be fine. You should be fine. You, you, you should be fine unless you, you have a digestive issue where it, it doesn't like like that. If you, you know, if they say like lactose intolerance or something. You know, but um, so delicious and talented, dirty free ice cream brands are very great alternatives. Yeah, there's some alternatives. There are. There are some alternatives. There, there are always some great alternatives you know, to, 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 to anything. But I, I'm, I'm going to say this, though. Get your get your temple. um in order first, get your temple under control. Get your your temple or your your where the 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 the, the, the ruach can really work through you, mm. because because I'm, I'm telling you now when we we're eating mostly dead food, we're not thinking the same. Yeah, food is spiritual. Yes, you know, uh, fruits and vegetables are alive. I mean, they, I mean, it's living. It, it's it, you know, it helps you think clearly and what have you. As soon as you put some 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 um, meat in there, and what some uh, and what have you, you're sluggish. Mm. You, you don't want to do nothing. You can't think. Why you you you, you brain fog? You wonder what you did, what you just got through saying, you know. And so you know, m moderation. Give your give your digestive system a break. Give it give it a break. If you if you're consuming meat, you don't have to consume meat every day. Who who who, who does that? You don't have to consume meat every day. You can consume every other day. Try that. Yeah. Try that every other day. I'm looking at comments now, so I'm trying to. Let us hear But you know what? You, um, when you are on this journey of Reversing this ease in your body. Some of the things that I do want to let you know is that you 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 have to start back cooking. Okay, you. I mean, I'm not saying cooking every day because I'm not cooking every day. I don't because it's just it's just me by myself now, you know. So, but but getting back in there because you have to retrain your your, your taste buds. You really do. You have to retrain your taste buds. You 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 do, and you have to change your mindset. You know. And take take baby steps, you know. You know, don't despise uh, uh, small beginnings, guys, in your healing journey. You know, let patients have his perfect work. Work, you know, what the scripture says. So you will be lacking nothing, and you will be complete. You know, baby steps, small beginnings. That's one thing the Most High taught taught me. You know, is 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 is, is doing my life. And, and boy, he had to really teach me some stuff mm. you know, to not despise because because I'm I'm the type that want to see results, you know, right away. You know, this lifestyle is not an overnight, um, whichever one you, cho you choose or whichever one you are, whether you're a vegan, a vegetarian, a pescatarian, you know, all of whichever one you are, are, you know, it's, 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 it's a lifestyle journey always. Yes. Um, is it good for women to go vegetarian during that time? Sure. It's not going to hurt. It's not, it's not going to hurt. The fruitarian diet is what I call the <laughs> because you'd be on the toilet for the I love the fruitarian diet. I like I say, my my clients, that's what I put them on. They they bulk and they 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 kick and scream, you know, as, as far as that goes. And and be, be calling me, but can I and, and and text me, but can I add this and can I add that? Sometimes I have to relent because I because of, of, of where they are, you know, where they are and, and they walk. But as long as I can get that fruit in you, because our people, our bodies, I don't care even if you are a diabetic. Our bodies, especially, I say people of color, we need fruit. Yes. You know, some, some, some uh, 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 herbs and things say that, that, we're, that we are natural born fruitarians. Well, you know, I'm not convinced of that, but they're not far from it. Because I noticed that when that when you do consume the, the fruit and everything, that's when I'm that's when that's when I'm at my best. 
And that's when people can tell, you know, that, that they're feeling better, you know, when they, when they start consuming that. And of course, you're going to start getting tired of it. And that's when you have to use wisdom and know when to start adding things. But don't go all the way back to that sad diet. <laughs> don't go back to that. Yeah, my stomach bloats for me. Yeah, it's dead. And I'll tell you this too. If you're mixing meat with fruit and all of that, your, your stomach is hating you. Wow. It's hating you. Don't be mixing, don't be, don't mix, don't mix fruits and some vegetables, but don't mix fruit with no meat at all. Put, put a couple hours difference in between it. Because what's going to happen is that if you're consuming uh, the meat with the fruit, what the, the body is going to go and go and, 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 and get rid of the, 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 the most damaging thing, which is it's going to break down that try its best to break down that meat. And it's going to take a while for it to break it down. And our body's taking a while for it to break it down. The fruit is just rottening. It's just vermin and just rottening. Mm. That's why your poop stink. Mm. So, yeah. So, yeah, your stomach will blow. So, listen to your, listen to your body. If your stomach blows for meat, it don't want it. It's foreign to it. Your body don't want that. Yeah. You know, we have this habit of not listening to our bodies. We, we know we don't, but we keep doing it. Listen to your body. Yeah. It's always talking to you. It's yeah. always talking to you. What, what time? I didn't want to go too oh, far over. Morning. Well, guys, any other, any other questions and everything? But I'm going to say this. Change your thoughts and change your mindset and 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 and, and cast down every imagination that said you can't you 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 can't reverse this ease. You can't. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I say. That's what I say. You have any any last words you want to say, Shauna? It's just so it's so funny. I'm seeing all of these. Um, I wonder if the most high's hand in a way is in destroying all these chicken process and <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all these oxen and all this fish and everything because um, it's like he's taking meat away from it. Yeah. That's yeah. what it almost feels like when we, when I see all this destruction happening with all these animals and these food processing plants. So exactly, uh, definitely yeah. get your gardens going, fam. And, um, oh, yeah. And, and I'm having trouble with mine, you know, but I do not give up because we, we better start growing some food. Because I keep telling people it's a famine coming. People be laughing at me. It's a, a famine is coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. In fact, I have to say, I think that's called auto intoxication. When food decays in your intestines instead of being expelled. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm laughing at you, but uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I truly, truly agree. Family, I, I, I really, truly enjoy. I could never be a breather terrier. <laughs> A breathitarian. <laughs> What's a breathitarian, Maria? <laughs> I was trying to figure that out. What is it? I'm going to look that up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know you just made that up. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, but, but guys, it, it, um, I'm so glad uh, that you joined me today. And me and Sister Shauna, it, 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 it truly was an honor to have you and, and have you here with me. It, it really was. It really and truly was. I, I love it. And, and we're going to try to make this a weekly, um, uh, a weekly thing with different topics to hit on different topics. And if you always want to want to address something, you know, always you guys already know how to reach me or, uh, or put in the comments and whatever that topics that you want to. But I believe the next one is going to be how to listen to your listen to your body when your body is telling you what it wants. I think that might be the next one since we, we I think this one might uh, is segue, segue, segue. What's the word? Segue into to that one. We got it. Okay, that one. Okay. So anyway, so um, so thank you guys so much. I so much. Thank you for all of you in the chat, all of you who who will will watch this on the replay. Thank you so 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 much for um, you know, for being here and um, and um, I don't know what else to. I guess I don't know what else to say at this point. And what else? Shalom and blessings, family. Yeah. So, but remember, family. Remember this, I do want to say this. Remember, all who are in Yahushua Hamashiach, whom we call Jesus, healing is your birthright. That's right. 
It is your birthright. Claim it. Peace and blessings.